Welcome to FIUsports.com. After two weeks on the road, the FIU Panthers came home for the first time in 2015 against North Carolina Central, looking to get back on the winning track. Let's take a look at the highlights. The Panthers move the ball on the opening drive of the game. However, the drive will stall, and Austin Taylor comes in and kick a 32-yard field goal, and it's 3-0 FIU with 11.26 left in the first quarter. North Carolina Central gets introduced into Michael Wakefield on their first possession. Hello, Eagles have to punt. The next FIU drive goes right down the field again, but would stall. Austin Taylor comes in again and boots the 36-yard field goal, and it's 6-0 FIU with 7.19 left in the first quarter. FIU will get the ball back, and folks, this is what you wanted to see. Alex Magoo hooks up with Dennis Turner and takes it 64 yards to the house. Touchdown, Panthers, and FIU is balling. PAT is no good, and it's 12-0 FIU with 346 left. North Carolina Central can't get anything on offense to go. The Panther defense stiffens, and the Eagles will punt again. However, NC Central will get on the board on a pick six, cutting the Panther lead to 12-7, and that's our score at the end of the first quarter. The Panthers come right back and will get a 10-yard touchdown pass from Magoo to tight end Jonu Smith on a third and 10, and it's 19-7 FIU. The Panthers will get the ball back again as Nico Gonzalez says, I'll take that, picks off the pass, and FIU will get the ball right back. And on the ensuing play, true freshman Anthony Jones hits the easy button, and look at him go, 26 yards to the house, touchdown FIU. PAT is good, and it's 26-7 FIU with 7.51 left in the first half. NC Central would score right before the half on a one-yard touchdown run. The PAT would is good, and that'll cut – the lead to 26 to 14 FIU with 20 seconds left in the first half and that would be our score at the break. In the second half, FIU opens up with a drive into the Eagle red zone after Magoo hits Thomas Owens. First down to the 16-yard line, and if some is good, more is better. Magoo to T.O. again, touchdown Panthers, 16 yards. The PAT would be no good, and with 12 minutes left in the third quarter, it's FIU 32 and NC Central 14. Panthers get the ball back and just keep balling. Magoo to Joaquin Griner, and then Alex Gardner runs to the Eagle 30-yard line for another first down. Gardner says, give me the ball and watch me whip. Now watch me nay-nay all the way down to the one-yard line. Looked like he scored, but they call him out at the one. Gardner would punch it in from there, a one-yarder. Touchdown, FIU. PAT is good, and with 445 left in the third quarter, the Panthers lead 39-14. FIU would shut out the Eagles in the final period, and that's the happy final as FIU wins their home opener 39-14 over North Carolina Central. After the game, we caught up with head coach Ron Turner. I thought uh, we did some good things, and, uh, you know, we got a win. That's what we came in here for, and I thought our defense started out, you know, really, we started out, you know, doing really well. Offense moved it down. I'd like to put it in the end zone on the first drive for a touchdown, but we got a field goal. And uh, you know, first couple drives, you know, we need to punch that in the red zone. But we got field goals, and our defense, uh, you know, came out came out smoking and did a great job. And um, you know, then and then we kind of hit a hit laps there during the course of the game, lost focus a little bit. But um, you know, that that's that's football. That's football. Give them some credit too. They're a good football team, a well coached team. And um, you know, we regained it in the second half, and you know, got a win. With a win, the Panthers improved to 2-1 and one on the young season and is off to their best start since 2011. The Panthers will hit the road again next Saturday as they'll open up Conference USA play at Louisiana Tech. From Ocean Bank Field at FIU Stadium, I'm Brian Duvall.